There are plenty of projects underway to help protect our native animals. Now one of our rare and endangered plants is getting a helping hand. The kaka beak, a colourful native shrub, is almost extinct. The number growing in the wild has halved over the past 15 years. Danielle Stanbury with the rescue mission. The kakabeek's crimson flowers once flourished across the North Island. Now the native shrubs on the brink of extinction. They're important species in their own rights. They're treasures, they're taonga for Māori, they're culturally important. They're part of us and part of the landscape. With no defence against browsing animals, just 110 kakabeek are known to exist in the wild. These plants are likely to go to extinction unless they're given a helping hand. Seeds collected from the few left in the wild are already being propagated in nurseries in the central North Island. Some of the plants, because they're perched on cliffs, etc., they're really hard just to physically get to in the first place. Now 40 juvenile kakabeek shrubs reared in an enclosure are being planted on Roberton Island in the Bay of Islands, part of an experiment to see if the rare plant can be reintroduced to other areas. We'd like to see this species flourishing on this island and, um, and hopefully use this as a stepping stone to maybe repopulate a, a greater area of Northland. The young kakabeek shrubs will be nurtured on Roberton Island, chosen because it's free of pests. The Forest Life Force Restoration Trust has come up with a unique way of spreading the precious seeds. It's experimenting with firing the kakabeek seeds from a shotgun, hoping they'll take root on cliffs beyond, beyond the reach of predators. Danielle Stanbury, One News.